guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be our usual Boxy Sherm unboxing, which I actually filmed yesterday and there was some interesting stuff in the box. It was actually a really fun unboxing and I'm gonna insert that in a moment, but I first wanted to give a huge shout out to the premium box this month because if you're subscribed to the premium box, you actually get a Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the February box. They included the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which is actually the foundation I'm wearing on my face right now. And I think it's so amazing that they included it in the box. It's such a good foundation. I filmed myself applying it a little while ago and you can honestly see how much coverage this foundation has. It has incredible, amazing full coverage. I had some redness on my cheeks and you can just see like I'm applying this foundation and it's completely taking away the redness. The coverage is incredible and yet it still doesn't look cakey which is a big deal for me because I have very, very dry skin. I find that as long as I use a very nice hydrating moisturizer underneath, this looks beautiful on my skin and honestly this has inspired me to keep wearing it I want to keep it on my vanity and wear it for like glam special occasions because it really does just look so flawless I'm wearing the shade 5 but sometimes I could be 5.5 as well it depends and I just love how my skin looks right now it really smooths out the skin like I'm not sure if you can tell but my skin does look pretty airbrushed Pretty flawless. So yeah, really exciting to get a Charlotte Tilbury product in the premium box. I love Charlotte Tilbury. Shout out to the premium box. Shout out to all the boxes. I think they're all really great and you get so much for your money. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Base box unboxing. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my box to share my unboxing. It is wild, but I've had probably the most stressful month of my life. <laughs> how, how, how can my days get any more stressful? I don't know. But it's always a good time when I sit down and I relax and I disconnect and hang out with you guys, even though I don't have time to do that these days. I'm always excited to try on some BoxyCharm products with you. Did you guys hear that? Mom? Okay. <laughs> Sounded like my mom fell off of a ladder there, but she said she's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and dive right into the box, shall we? So, primer. I don't have any makeup on my face. I just have like a clean face and some brow. So I do have brow makeup on. I filled in my brows with my brow flick. And now I'm gonna go in with, I cannot stop burping, so excuse me throughout this video. Red spaghetti sauce gets me real saucy. So this is from a brand called Yensa. I've actually never heard of this brand before. I love testing out new brands. This is their Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. It has black sesame oil, black seaweed, black tea, black rice, shiitake mushrooms. Those are like delicious, right? Like you eat those, huh? Korean black raspberry, chia seeds, and you know, a bunch of really good uh, botanicals and high performing ingredients. So I'm, I'm gonna throw this on my face. I'm very excited. So this also says that it moisturizes and preps the skin for makeup, blurs imperfections and pores, provides a brighter skin tone and it is powered by eight super black essence. And yeah, you're just supposed to smooth a thin layer of this over clean moisturized skin. My face was clean, but not moisturized. So hope that doesn't affect it. But I mean, it still looks really nice and I really I really like that it doesn't feel like super thick on the skin. It has a nice glowy finish, but it honestly doesn't feel like anything. But I don't know, I do feel like it blurred my skin as well. And it like filled in my pores. I don't know, I really like that. I really like that. Okay, next thing in the box. Lip scrub. So this is the Bali Balm Lip Scrub, also a brand I haven't tried before. And I freaking love pineapples. I bet you this smells delicious. <gasps> It does. It absolutely does. Wow. Oh, so nice. And it's not like too rough. <laughs> and the little hydrating oil in this. Wow, this feels like a very natural product. It's a sugar scrub packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently puff and polish away dead skin cells. It's got coconut oil, cinnamon, orange, vanilla. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, smells great. All right, that made my little tiny lips uh, nice and soft. I don't typically use lip scrubs every day, honestly, but I do notice that if I keep it in my shower, at least I do use it more often. So this is a shower guy and that might be gross, but lip scrubs in the shower are like the only ways I use them. It's like, ah, oh, I'm already exfoliating my body. Might as well do my lips. Okay, so the next things in the product, no. So the next products in the box actually all go together, kind of. You have a multitasker four-in-one makeup brush. Wow. And then you have a highlight palette and some setting powder. And I'm gonna use it all at the same time. But let me open this first. 
I actually haven't seen this makeup brush yet. A four-in-one makeup brush sounds, I can't open this. Says it's vegan, latex free, cruelty free. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love this color. I wonder about this egg, but it's so cute. And I like this brush for blush or for contour. <gasps> it's pretty good, it's pretty good. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually get really excited when we get brushes in the box, like eye brushes, face brushes, all of that, because that is actually the one makeup item I never buy. Like how often are you guys buying brushes out there? Right? I feel like just put it in my box of charm because it's easier for me. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to shop for it. But it says you can use its powder. Yeah. Contour, of course. Little blending sponge. Blends out creams and liquids. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. And then it says medium shadow brush and angled brow liner brush. Where? Where? What? That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That took me by surprise, I will say. What? What? That was impressive. I like that. I like that. I love this. Too bad I don't go anywhere anymore. And COVID has traumatized me. And I'll never travel again. But if I did. Oh, if I did. Okay, so I just applied some foundation. I'm wearing the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have been freaking loving this so much. And I'm going in with my Il Maquillage Fuck I'm Flawless Concealer, another favorite of mine. I'm going to buff that out with this guy. It kind of feels weird buffing this out with a dry sponge and like a little stiff, like, like a little rough. But, I mean, that's blended. And you know, normally I would be like, but I would prefer a different kind of blending brush underneath the eyes. But when you think of like a travel brush or one of these like double-sided brushes, a lot of people don't really like double-sided brushes because when you go to like shove it into your little brush holder, it always messes up the bristles on the bottom. But this, this wouldn't get messed up because it's like a little sponge. So that's nice. I like it. It's a little stiff, I'm not gonna lie, but not too bad. And I like that I can just like, like I said, shove it in a brush organizer and it won't get messed up. I don't know, I could get used to this. It's not my favorite, but it blended it really nicely and definitely just does, does the job. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and open the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder that came in the box. And this is a translucent setting powder, so it should fit all skin tones. And it looks like this, like your typical like Makeup Forever MAC setting, like packaging wise. I always have the urge to like smell these. Like I wanna like open this and sniff it. I don't know why. Oh, that doesn't smell like anything. Sometimes they smell like really intense and powdery, but this one smells good. Really quickly, I am gonna take this side of the brush and I'm only gonna set my T-zone and like my, my primer, my eyes, because Mama is very dry and we could only do a little bit of setting powder on this face. Wow, that's actually a really nice powder. Yo no puedo con este perro, yo no puedo. My neighbor is like screaming hysterically. What is going on? Like I was saying, it's actually a really good setting powder. Like it filled in my pores and I have very, very dry skin, but it doesn't look dry. Like it looks very, very smooth. Wow. This month's theme should have been something about smooth because I don't know if that's the powder, my primer, my lip scrub, I'm smooth. I'm gonna take some bronzer with this same brush and we're going to bronze, bronze and contour. Okay, love that, love that. I'm gonna take some blush and apply that with the same brush. I really like the shape of this brush and like how thick it is. I feel like it works so well for both bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm sure. Okay, lovely. Lovely. I'm actually gonna go in with the last product in the box and this is from Ace Beauty. It's their Glow Highlighter Palette. Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. And it looks like this. And they all look really pretty. Ooh, really, really shiny, ultra metallic, glowy finishes. And I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Gleaming. Right on my, oh my God. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's beautiful, that, wow, that, that's intense. So gorgeous though, wow. And since my skin was already looking so smooth, I don't feel like that really emphasizes much of my texture at all. And usually these ultra metallic 
highlights do that. Oh my God, this is beaming. I don't think you understand. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with my brush to give it a more natural finish. That looks stunning. I love that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> love it. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly throw on some eye makeup off camera, but I am gonna pop on to use these guys. I just, I have to, I have to. This sponge would also probably be really good for baking. <gasps> Let's try that. Let's see. Forgive me, I haven't baked since 1969, but just wanna clean up my bronzer right there. And then when you're ready, dust it away. All right guys, we are done. I just added my lip color. I'm wearing the Oma, I don't know how to say this brand, U-O-M-A, Angelo um, lip liner with like a little jelly bomb gloss on top. And yeah, some eyeshadows from like some random palette and that's it. I actually really, really, really enjoyed the box this month, way more than I thought I would. I fell in love with this highlight palette, even though I only used one shade. They're so metallic-y and yummy, and usually I'm not into that, but these are just so, so beautiful. I really liked this primer. I feel like it filled in my pores really well. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna use this a lot. And don't get me started on this cool little guy. Okay, I loved this. This is something else. I like it. And yeah, the only things that I probably won't get that much use out of are this um, translucent setting powder and the lip scrub. But even then, those were really good products. There wasn't anything I didn't like, so that's nice. And after adding everything up, the total is $148. That's, that's expensive. But okay guys, I guess that's it. That completes this video. That was everything I got in my boxy sherm. Did you like your box this month? Did we get the same things? Did you love it? Did you hate it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.